Hello everyone and welcome to episode zero of a brand new series. This is going to be the series that I christen 3D printing and it's going to be a, hopefully a weekly series about 10 minutes per episode and overall it's just going to be about my experiences in 3D printing and 3D printing cool things, explaining how they work, showing some of my discoveries and really anything else that I find interesting in the field. Now there's a few different topics I plan on think talking about. Uh, a lot of them are going to be initiated by cool things that I find on Thingiverse and then trying to print them using different 3D printing techniques with my simple little 3D printer, showing how to set up time lapses and also setting up print servers. That's really going to be most of the series. Hopefully you find it interesting. Um, I definitely know that well, this series sort of is inspired by another YouTube channel that does some 3D printing things, Barnacles. You probably have heard of it. If not, you can go check it out in the description if you'd like to. But yeah, that's going to be most of the series. So to help give this episode a little bit of content, because I pretty much just explained what the series is about, let's take a look at some of the things that I've 3D printed just so you can get an idea of what is what type of things are going to be shown in this series. Alright, so I've got my internet browser open here. We're just going to take a little trip to Thingiverse. I visit this site quite a lot, and here there's definitely a lot of good sources for great 3D models. This is where I print most of my things from, but I also have AutoCAD where I can design things as well. But let's take a look at my profile. You can also find my profile and browse it on your own if you want to. But you can take a look at my profile right here, Laser Lord. We'll have a whole one follower. But you can take a look at all the things that I've made. So here's just a quick one, just like controller holders. They're a neat thing to print. I was printing those out for a friend before they moved away. Definitely think it worked out well. But this is probably one of my favorite 3D prints here which is a uh, dragon. You can see the original creator over here. This is their original posting. I downloaded the 3D model and then I printed it out. And the main reason I like this is because of how detailed the print came out. Now my printer isn't very good. It was pretty much the cheapest printer that I could get that has like real features. It's no, it's not an M3D. It's not something that tiny. It's a rep wrap. And I'll explain more about my 3D printer in the next episode. But you can see all of this printed without support material. And this was printed, I added in these graphics here. It's for, I play uh, Pathfinder with friends. But the thing is, um, the code screwed up a little bit with this one, especially hence the, that's why it has the horizontal lines here. But painting it sort of made them go away a little bit. But I really like the way all of the details came out on this model. But also this one, this is one of the few prints that I have posted with a different nozzle. I used a smaller diameter nozzle for this one. I used 0.2 instead of 0.4. And you see that it looks pretty detailed. But whenever you actually look at the size of the thing, it's actually quite tiny. Like here it is, I'm just holding it in my hand. It's rather small. And here it is standing up next to a AA battery. You can see it's only, well, exactly 136 millimeters tall because that's as tall as my printer goes and in a future episode who knows when that'll be I'll most likely upgrade my 3d printer make it taller make it able to print larger things but yeah so far I don't have too many things posted here's like one of the very first things I made it was a keyboard cat puller because I lost the one for my keyboard but yeah that's pretty much it for this episode there's of course, you can always look at my profile on Thingiverse to see what I'm up to, because these I'm going to be definitely remaking a lot of these things listed here for videos. So, And also the way it works is I make the thing, wait a little bit, and then make it again. But now I actually know what I'm doing so that I can make the video on it. So if you want to get more, I guess, a real-time view of what I'm doing, you can go over to my Thingiverse page, browse there, send me a message, say hi. And then again, that's more for Twitter. But nonetheless, that's going to be this series. So I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching.